Burn it. Just the burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. It's... <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Addressed Opinions where we are reviewing the main stage runway looks of season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Today on the panel we have myself Jasper, Arcane, Hi, how y'all doing? I'm back. And Cinnamon returning once again. Hey y'all, how's it going? The theme for this week's episode is Beat It. And with that being said, let's just get right into the looks. First up to the stage, we have Denali. And I've been looking forward to this episode for so long because I wanted to put some motherfucking respect on this look. This is an absolute shoot. When she came out onto the runway, I full on gay gasped. I'm talking about <gasps> like- Not the GGs. <laughs> it was just, it's so, beautiful it's such a great take on the bead theme i think it was just really smart to do this lamp concept and the way that she used her shape at the waist to actually make a beautiful silhouette and the beads going on along the arms with the back piece that looks like a headdress and then the way it even comes down to the floor it's just Oh my god, the judges slept on her so hard for this look. She deserved to be in the top. She was rightfully pissed during Untucked when she was like, this was my favorite look. I was really looking forward to bringing it. And, you know, at least for me, she brought it. So, motherfucking shoot for me. For me, this is an absolute shoot. I love everything about it. One of my favorite things is you can see her on the Broadway cast with you and the Beast being one of the... Uh, furniture pieces or something being brought to life i love it i love the beads the, the placing is very good the fact that the just the silhouette of the dress looks very pleasing to the eye i think those are all jewels on the end of the pieces of the headsets right or those yeah. Are the yeah there's like little crystals hanging off of them yeah no this is just this is so much attention to detail i love it it's just, it's too 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 this is good to me i i like it I think she could have gone a little further. And the put head... like a whole lampshade on her head? Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> if you let me finish, ma'am, I feel like she could have added more crystals on the little wire pieces that are up by her head. I think that would have added to the feathery illusion of it because I can see what she's going for. We're like showgirl type lamp. It's not 100% shoot for me, but it's definitely a two. Next up to the stage, we have Elliot with two T's. This is a toot for me. It's a cute Mardi Gras flapper look. I get the reference that she was going for with both the color scheme and the way the dress fits with the special feather applique. And of course the flapper era cigarette stick in the hand. So it's a toot. Yeah, it's a toot for me. It's a... It's one, I think it was one of the more simpler designs on the runway, but it was nothing wrong with it. I liked it. Usually I have issues with the beaded gloves and the new, where the nude panel is beaded, but this, since this is a fucking goddamn bead runway, kind of gotta go to that point. Everything has to be put with beads. I feel like maybe a different shoe, but there's not much you could have done to like elevate this. Like she knew what she wanted to wear and she wanted to wear this and this is what she wanted. I think this looks all right. It's definitely going to be a toot for me. Like you said, Arcane, I think she could have done something with the shoes to tie it in a little better rather than just being a nude that doesn't quite match her skin tone. Maybe she could have covered it in Mardi Gras beads or something. But other than that, I mean, it's it's a toot. <laughs> Next up to the runway, we have Got Mick. Yes, this is an absolute toot. I mean, she's fucking anal beads. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's camp it's funny she fucking went there obviously the beads that are made to look like fringe blend into the top so it's a bit difficult to see in the picture but it did move along very well on the runway i think you can barely see let me use my mouse pointer for this you can barely see but there are beads on the back of her shoes and that okay. is just a really, really cute detail. So, absolute toot. 
this to me is damn near close to a motherfucking shoot to be honest this is giving me life it's giving me kink it's giving me in your face you said beads and i went there like you said jasper i definitely think that maybe doing the bead fringe in another color would have been good but other than that i am loving this it is giving me raunchy sexy 60s mod and i do notice the little accents on the back of the heel with the beads i am in love with this look the makeup everything for me this is damn near fuck it it's a shoot i just i just want to clarify i don't think the beads should have been in a different color i think there should have been more on it just so it was more blatantly obvious that it was bead fringe i'll ask a different question what color would you want the bead fringe to be she could have done it in like a black or something because the problem is, is that the the main portion of the dress has bumps on it anyway so to add more in would have taken away from the bumps that are already there which is why i think she if she did red she could have done like pink maybe like a fuchsia e heck even like a maroon sort of a color would have worked anything to distinguish it from the dress the problem is, is that it's all the same color and under those bright purple lights it all gets stuck together let me tell you when she ran on into the runway i i felt a little bit seen i had to look back and hide some of my things and make sure she didn't take shit and put on her dress <laughs> Oh Not God. sis mop the anal beads from you. <laughs> it's an alright dress. It's not, like, for me, it's not a shoot. Uh, like, I think one of my main issues with the dress is that she does lose her shape with it. What can you do with all those bumps on the dress and the fringe? You, you're going to lose your shape regardless. Other than that, I do like it. I like the color. I like the comedy behind it. it was, it's very camp. It's very smart. Her makeup is very good. And she was very smart with the accessories, with the anal bead as one of her wristbands the beads on her shoes i can't boot it it's too next up to the stage is candy muse this is an oh no you go ahead, go no, ahead. yeah no this is probably the best she's looked all season period it's a two this one i love it this is so i feel like i would watch this on a runway she had the uh personality for it when she gave it on the runway as she walked around all the beads just kind of like Wish in uh, along with her. I, my favorite thing about this is the the hat itself. It's so so that chef kiss on top. So I will say this this right here. Let me tell you, sis. This is how you work a fashion with, in particular, her. I would say that her body shape. You know, the previous looks. It seems like she doesn't necessarily know how to accentuate her body shape or really do anything with it it's just sort of there this look right here the width of that hat how wide her shoulders look bitch almost has a, a reverse triangle going on and i am living for it the fur is opulent those beads bitch yes i can tell that you own trump tower because you bought it off his ass I can tell that you walked in and said, this is mine now. <laughs> the only thing I would like to see is I noticed that on the back, the cape fringe, whatever it is made of beads, I'd like to see a little bit more of it. Cause I don't know if it's the picture and the motion, but it does seem to be a little lacking, a little thin. But other than that, bitch, this is the highest toot I could ever give you candy. So I want to give this a toot. I really do. I, I, on everything, I want to give this a toot. But it's actually a shoot. First of all, let's get the elephant out, out of the room. Y'all know on this show, I have had some comments about pasties. And how... <laughs> doing this show, I came to the conclusions that I hate pasties. This is one of the few exceptions where I enjoy pasties. Because... It's not just pasties with a bare chest. The necklace and under bra that she has going on connected to it actually gives the chest some shape. So there's more to accentuate the pasties. So get that out of the way. The hat and the fur 
She looks so expensive. This bitch went into K Jewelers and bought out the entire store. I, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even know what the fur is on it, but it's so lengthy. It's so soft. Like, just touching the computer screen. I can it feel how like, soft the fur is. It looks like both fox fur. I mean, it's just... it's, And then the beaded cape accessory on the back. It's just... Uh, and, and the makeup. Everything is right. Every, sing every single thing about this is right. I was, was really, really impressed by Candy with this look. Absolute shoot. <sighs> Next up to the stage, we have La La Ree. Girl, we already know you don't want to go first, but I'll go, like usual. Hate it, boo it. Next, bye. Seriously, though, one of the biggest issues I have with this costume because i'm not gonna call it out because it's just it's literally just a cat suit with beads on it that's about it. it it gives her figure but then it's just the beads just just look like they're hanging off like nothingness there's n like whereas you have someone who's like simone who uses her like n natural skin and stuff like that and it, it accentuates the dress her wearing is on the other opposite and is actually wearing this cat suit that makes her look darker than it seems and one of the biggest things is like her face looks like she has a big old highlighter on it like that's another thing i don't like about it the wig's okay i like the wig the shoes i hate the shoes because the shoes just it, they're plain shoes like if you're not going to focus on the middle at least get some bomb ass shoes to like at least like ooh, at least you want to you know compliment it ma'am this is you drunk at mardi gras in new orleans shaking your ass and titties for anybody who'll throw you a free drink damn i need you to step your pussy up this so right here ain't it this ain't it girl i'm surprised you ain't go home on this look she, she did, did. She oh did. she did she went home oh. this episode fabulous wonderful just dessert <laughs> but girl don't ever let nobody beat your face up like that again Okay, oh my God. don't let nobody okay. smack you around enough that you have to wear a Shaka Khan wig to cover up your face. If she had told me, if the challenge had been impersonating Shaka Khan, I would have said yes, because that wig is giving me Shaka Khan vibes. Like Shaka Khan on an album cover, you know, looking gorgeous with all that fine natural hair teased out the hill. Beautiful. I know you done went down to Party City for Mardi Gras and you think you the shit because you made a dress out of beads but child it's worse than a boot for me it's to take that shit off and throw it in the trash and walk on the runway naked I'm just gonna make this short and sweet I appreciate a reference to like carnival that's what this gives me but it's a club number performance look not a RuPaul's Drag Race runway look and she did herself no favors by having her face be a different tone than the rest of her body it's giving that whole like different Barbie head on a different doll kind of feel. Not the popping one head off and put it on the other bitch. It's a boot. I can't hate on her more than I already have in this entire series. Next up we have Olivia Lux. This is an absolute toot. It's not a shoot because it's not like spectacularly mind blowing, but it's borderline there because the specific reference that she's going for it's there this is a black elementary school girl like that's what it gives me that is what she is with the berets in the hair the way the hair is braided the very like colorful looks the band-aids on the leg she is that child girly girl and it's right it's perfect i absolutely love it too yeah, just like how Simone brought me back to within my area with the uh, with the train draft outfit. This does the same thing going back to me parking with elementary school. I remember all the young little young girls having little the barrettes in their hair and having that same hairstyle. One of the easier ways to do your hair as a young black person because you're not going to sit there and get your hair braided for the whole two or three hours. And usually I'm going to let you know I fucking hate wedges but these wedges look nice with this outfit i like it i like the accents that are in them the little red colors that match up with all the other reds that she's wearing in the outfit i love the graffiti tag on the 
little overall skirt. I Everything I love about this. It's so colorful. It's so nice and vibrant. And as usual, love her fucking makeup, too. Like, I I can... Let's play some hopscotch. Let's make some jump rope, bitch. You, you got me. I want to play. Let's go. I love this look. I am living for it. It's giving me bubblegum, effervescent, you know, a little bit of sparkling water with maybe a little bit of sugar and some lemon in it. Just the right amount of sweet with just that little bit of I'm gonna beat your ass if you do something to me. Cause look, my sh my ankle my ankles are scraped up, so I know how to fight. Yeah, no, this is great. Uh, Arcane, I know you and I disagree on sneaker wedges. Um, oh, cause you that sneaker wedge kind of hoe. Uh, look, they're comfortable and they make you look good. But <laughs> but the this whole look, I love it. The mismatched socks the you know the nice white sneaker wedges you know she got that sh that long that mid sleeve shirt on underneath this is just mm, chef's kiss this is a toot for me next up to the stage we have rose this is such a smart take on beads it is a bit difficult to tell from this picture but her outfit is made of those kinds of beads where you're intended to put them on like a background and then you put a sheet of wax paper over it and you iron over it. The entire outfit, and I do mean the entire outfit, including the yellow lining, is made from that material. Whoever made this outfit for Rosé, I hope she sucked his dick every day for a whole year. <laughs> to have made up for that outfit. It, it's a fucking two. It's just so smart. The pattern is well designed. How do you, it like, looks 3D printed. Yeah, like this pattern, oh my God. It's so symmetrical. If you were to put a line down it, both sides look almost the fucking same. Holy shit. I, the wig looks cute. And like this, this from looking at some of the other people's shoes, for this runway they just they didn't have really a good shoe to compliment with the exceptions like mick and olivia maybe the only other thing i would probably get her probably having some more accessories like around her arm or something like that like a like a forearm or a wrist but that's about it like add some more beads this is the two girl etch a sketch me into this outfit because i love it sometimes we say you give somebody an e for effort this bitch is the absolute opposite Bitch, give this bitch an A for effort. Because, girl, as somebody, That's look, in middle school, I used to do this iron on bead pattern thing all the time with stuff. Bitch, the queen hours it took to do this fucking thing. I can't. I, if she did this herself, bitch, I want five in several different colors, and I will pay you the $1,000 a dress. Because yeah. this shit is gorgeous. And having worked with those beads before, I don't know how the fuck you got curves in there. Cause them fuckers don't like the curve at all. However you got these curves in there, bitch, this is just chef's kiss. Them shoes is matching, you know, the nails. I'm noticing that the nails are a very similar color. Her earrings are beaded. And what I love the most is you don't even recognize it, but her hair. Her hair is done in a poof to match a bead shape. This is a shoot, shoot, shoot all the way. Next up to the runway, we have Simone. I did pull up a supplementary picture for this because from this picture alone, you cannot see the back of her hair. But on the runway, the back of her hair was beaded as well to have her name written on it. This is an absolute toot. I love the shout out to, you know, her heritage. It's just very natural. The colors look great. I don't fully understand this like string thing that's coming down the middle, but I'm just gonna pretend I don't see that and just see everything else and just bathe in the pop of color that is staring right at me. And it just looks really good on her natural skin. Again, she knows what she's doing. To girl, I fucking love this look. The fact that the loincloth comes down into fucking beads, and then each of the beads are very color oriented. She knew what color she was picking, and it looks great. She also beaded her fucking shoes, 
if she were not put beads on those shoes, they would like look like simple fucking string pumps. The fact that she did that and put ble applicated beads onto it makes it pop with her outfit. Girl, and let me tell you, Wakanda forever. She looked like she can be right out from a Black Panther comic. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, toot, toot, toot. You know, I always say that a good look, like a good book, can transport you to a whole other dimension, a whole other world, and bitch, I am being transported. This is giving me tribal, fabulosity, the amount of work that it took to take these, to put these beads on, I am living for it. You know, her skin is just glistening. It is, her hair is braided for the gods. I am in love with the detail work that she did on her shoes, the beautiful pattern that she did, and the amount of, the attention to detail is just fabulous. This, for me, is gonna have to be, it, it must be an evening of shooting stars because this is gonna be a shoot for me. Damn, y'all just really giving out shoots like that today. Holy shit. I mean, last week's runway was Little Black Dress, which was a fucking joke. So to have it be Beat It as the follow-up, we've just seen so many gorgeous looks tonight. Speaking of gorgeous looks, next up we have Tina Burner, in which there was a reveal that was absolutely not gorgeous. So I was being facetious as fuck. This is a <laughs> burn it. Burn it. Just the burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. It's... <sighs> We just talked about this earlier with the fucking pasties. It's, it's just ugly. It's just ugly. I'm sorry. That's not constructive. That's not helpful. But it's ugly. She's supposed to be some kind of Mardi Gras jester. This reveal with the pasties makes no sense. The judges ate it up. I don't understand why. Even before the reveal, this was. Yeah, you knew it was coming. Here's here's my thing, right? With the reveal. You want to take off the breast so there's pasties? Fine. Why did you take off the belt? Why did the belt have to go? It may Wait, did she take off the belt? She did. It's, one, it's one or the other. Like, she really should have picked. Wait, wait, wait did, did she actually take the belt off the runway or is this just a bad picture? She took the belt off the runway. The do belt is on. The, do you not see the four inches of uh, Party City no, beads no, no, that disappear? I see that. I see that. But I'm wondering if it's just a before and after picture where she took off the belt just for some reason with the picture. Because uh, that does happen sometimes. She lost the bead part of the assignment with her reveal. F for failing the assignment. My official rating is F. It's not a boot. It's an F. No. Next. You know what? You know what my rating is? Burn it. I hate it. I hate the colors. There was little to no beads as you looked at everyone else's outfits. Everyone else's outfits literally were covered in beads. Even Olivia's outfits, if you look very closely, there were beads on it and they made shapes and patterns and stuff like that. Even the beaded jump rope. Like, there were still beads there. The little to no beads she had, she flung off. And this just, the, again, with the ugly ass red dehydrated wigs i'm getting tired of it i just i can't stand like all the time she's just wearing nothing but a red wig and i just don't see any difference and always for some reason she has to wear either red yellow or orange in her outfit and she doesn't always need to this is episode seven girl we get it we get you we get your we get your stamp we don't need to keep getting stamped back and forth over and over again it's, it's, now it's just become a tramp stamp because it happens so often this is the person that you hire because your kid wants a Mardi Gras themed birthday party and there are no other clowns available. So you hire this bitch. <laughs> and then you find out that she's an adult party entertainer because she shows up to the kid's birthday party and rips her pants off and takes the boob cups off. Unfortunately, not only is this not kid friendly, this is not audience friendly. But seriously, there are so many looks better than this and yours is not it. This is a fucking boot it to the door. Last queen up to the stage, we have a Yutaka. This is an absolute toot. It's fucking gorgeous. There are ways that this could be edited better, but it's not bad. We've seen some bad looks tonight. This is not bad. And I really appreciate kind of this twist on this like 
bloody evil bride, giving me a little bit of Game of Thrones on the Red Wedding. So I just really like the concept. It looks gorgeous. So we're going to toot it and move on. Uh, bite me, Vladdy. This look <laughs> right here. I am living. All right, she got the long nails. She got the blood dripping down her mouth. She got the harness that she turned into a wedding dress. Bitch, yes. This right here, uh, Utica, if you out there, can I can I buy this in a shorter size for my wedding, please? It, it's a shoot for me. This is an absolute toot for me. I love everything about this. Jasper, I was going to make the same reference. Girl, she went from a white wedding to a red wedding. I'm fucking here for it. The blood stains in the bottom of the train look gorgeous. I like that she has beaded the actual harness of the outfit. Like, you can even see beads on it, so it's just not only beads. Even if you go into the sheer of the outfit, too, those are also beaded with pearls. So she's still keeping on brand, on not on brand, but on theme to the runway. The pearls themselves look like rosary beads so i get what she's doing she's doing like still kind of keeping the vampire concept but then playing with other things that you know keep are supposed to keep vampires at bay and chains she's, she's throwing other references in uh again i can never clock you because my makeup because her makeup is so good this is the second time she's worn that red pixie cut wig but like it still looks good with the outfit and you wouldn't notice it unless you were looking for it but other, like it's still a two, like everything about it, loving it, just the red to the white. It's really nice on the runway. Now it's time for our top two of the week. My top two of the week is Denali. When it came to everybody that was on this runway, Denali was the one who took my breath away the most as soon as she stepped on stage. This is absolutely gorgeous and what I expect from drag and RuPaul's Drag Race. So my top two of the week is Olivia. She took me back to a time that I loved about being fun and silly. I love the jump rope. I love the beads. I love the hair appliques. The bitch actually made me love fucking wedges. And, that's, and these are sneaker wedges. So I was right when I said the first time. Bitch, two since my top two. Love it. This week, my top two is going to be Miss Candy Muse, darling. I, the opulence in this look, she has never looked better. Honestly, this is my favorite look from her. She just, she looks so rich. Mm, yes. And that concludes this week's episode of Addressed Opinions. Make sure you follow us on our respective social medias right down there in the corner. You can find all of us on Twitter. I am at Jasper Hedgehog. You can find Arcane at Fly Like a G Chef. And you can find Miss Cinnamon at Little Pup Cinny. Join us next week where the runway theme is Yellow Gorgeous, where every queen is going to be decked out in yellow. Try to keep it short and sweet. Yeah. Once Trenton is done, whatever he's doing. I'm getting my hands in. Oh, we see oh, the whole AS. I see London, I see France, oh. I see Trenton's ass. <laughs>